Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing economics from Hack My VM. This is Box Herder Bell Solid Easy. And yeah, let's get on to the video. As always, I'm sorry for splitting my terminals here. I'm still running a net cover of my star. 10.0.0.1 slash 24 slash i t0. I'm also looking at grab out for PCS. Doing this, we do get that be the box. 10.0.137. So we'll do control shift Z. So we'll do map scan. So the MMISSC for default scripts, so my SSV for domination was kind of ports on the IP. Doing this, I'll do my SSV verbos. Looking at the ports, you have three ports open, port 80 open for HTTP, port 21 open for FTP, and also port 22 open for SSH. Doing this, we do get a uh, Italy economics. So we do have a page here. Um, first thing I do see is a host name here, elite-economics.hmv which we can actually start by brute forcing for a subdomain if we don't get anything under here. Uh, just doing here under here, looking for any users. We do have users, which I'm guessing this, this is just a template. And yeah, this is just a template. Boom, to control your source code to see if anything was added to the source. And it doesn't seem like anything, right? So I'm start running a GoBuster, so to control shift Z. So we're on a GoBuster Dirt mode of my student to the IP address. We'll do my SW for user share word list or buster directory list with a medium.txt. We'll do HTML, txt, and also PHP. Looking back at the ports, we have three ports open. Port 21 open for FTP. This is VSTPD 3.0.5. We do have a bunch of PDF files here. We can log in as anonymous FTP login allowed. So maybe you can start by using wget uh, to do recursive from the server to get all the files, um, all these PDF files, right? So we also do have port 22 open for SSH, for open SSH for Ubuntu. Port open for HTTP is running Apache. So doing that, um, I want to start using wget. wget will allow me to do recursive mode, which I can start by specifying the protocol. And now 0 0 on port 21. This will put this into a directory for us. So you to that directory as the IP address. And now we do have this PDF files, right? So doing this, I'm going to start running a file command on brochure. We have two brochures, brochure one, and also brochure two. So I'll do this for brochure brochure one. And we do get a PDF document, right? I'm also gonna start by running X of tokens brochure. And here we do have the title, which can be the economics brochure one, author, and also the creator. Looking at the author, we do have a username or a user as Joseph. So I'm start by doing uh the control shift D. I'm gonna be going to users.txt. I'll start by putting, making users.txt and actually putting all the users that we do find within this, these PDF files, right? So do xf tool for brochure 2 now, dot PDF. We do have another user as Richard. So put that as there. We do xf tool for financial and also do this for, I guess I can just do this for, I uh, get, let me just run, let me just do XF tool for all the files. So this would be more efficient for us, right? So do XF tool for all the files. I'll just grab out for author. This should run for all the files. What is for, I'll do like a specific grip minus I. And now we do have all the, all the users, right? So we have Joseph, Richard, for that and now we have joseph richard crystal and katherine too to the katherine does have this for the author for two files right to be of two pdf files right so we have joseph richard we do this for crystal now and katherine so now we do have four users we can users.txt joseph richard crystal and katherine i'm gonna start running uh, hydro minus l let's find the capital l since we do have users.txt let's find minus p User share word list rocky.txt specify the protocol 10 on port 22. We'll do minus size from resource session. And doing this, we do have a valid user and also a valid password for Joseph and the password for wealthiest. So do SSH into Joseph at 10 on port 137. Do you have the password for wealthiest? We do ID and now we're Joseph. So I'm start running a pseudo myself. Under here, we do have a user bin system CTL for status. So do sudo minus u, run this as root, since we can run this for any user, right? With no password. And doing this, we can actually 
view the lines for status. So doing this, I can just run a bin slash bash since I did run this as root. CD back, we do ID, and hold root, do house money slay, and counter root.txt. Okay, it's pretty much the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.